I've been working on the post space deformers and working out different ways of doing it where it's going to be better. So I found out that you can actually work on one side at a time, providing that both of the limbs are um, keyframed to have the exactly the same rotation and position. So what I've done is between 0 and 10 frames I've positioned one arm and then the arm goes back to its neutral position. And then between frames 30 and 40 the other arm is posed by itself. So they're both really going to be do one at a time. I go to the first one, add a pose space um, deformer, and it's in place by the, the edit type. It doesn't really matter for the first one, but other ones it will do. Um, and then basically I will just correct the mesh. I'm going to do something enough that you'll better see it. You notice that because I'm keeping over this side it's only really selecting these um, joints it's found that there's a rotational value or positional value changing these joints that's the way you really want it to be um, and that's the ideal scenario setup the next thing is is you want to go into here at this point copy and then paste and right click and flip on the X Make sure you turn on post deformers, then go to your new keyframe, which for me is at frame 40, and then you click on set pose. Now the pose has been set, it's now applied the morphs to the other side in the correct position. And now you'll find that the post space deformers is working on one side as it should without affecting the other and then it's working on that side without affecting the other and that's it, it's done. You'll find that this way you don't have to select the um, the rotations like sl even select drivers is not working very well but you'll notice by doing it this way it's not affecting the other side when we do one side to the other and just to demonstrate this I'm just going to make sure that I just do a naming cha change right, left and then go to animate and I want you to notice is when we go to the PSD um, and they're both turned on we should see either one hundred percent or the other hundred percent so at ten, frame 10 you can see here that that one's one hundred percent and then the other one at frame 40 we can see that the other one is a hundred percent so this means that it's using the right joints without us, us having to manually go in there and start selecting joints which is a really good thing now if you wanted to just double check on this, it's hard to do it without expanding it if you're using the character tool, but here's what you do. Uh, we select the character tool and we want to, I've locked this screen at the bottom here, that's why. We go to display, managers and we select um, I think component hierarchy, that's it. It shows you all the bones. And then if we go back into our post morph, and then we just lock this screen so we can see both. We go back into our tag and select edit. You notice now that when I select the left and right, that is actually copied over the post morph from left to right. Or should I say it's copied over the bone selection from left to right. So it definitely speeds up the process by doing it this way by a great deal just to show you that so you won't have to go through the process of having to select all your, select all your bones so I thought I'd share this little update um, it's definitely a better way of working and it seems to be quite accurate as well in the way that it's working